Republic, Oberkampf. I just came out of the station here at Oberkampf in Paris. The restaurant must be really close. We made a reservation. We are now here inside. We're gonna try the Filipino. Like, like, um, did you eat already? Did you eat already? Yeah. Okay. We did not eat yet. <laughs> the pika pika, lumpias, veggie opoi, and cheese sticks, barbecue sticks. We have adobo as well, kare kare, vehicle express. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what would you like? Uh, banana ketchup, vinegar, sweet and sour. What, which one you recommend? Sweet and sour. Like sweet and favorite. sour. Okay, let's yeah. try it. Okay. Yeah, I'll try it. Maybe for the dessert, I will go with mango float. I'm not sure. I couldn't resist the Beagle Express. I wanted to try their adobo, but it's always the baboy that comes back, you know? And if I can taste that real gata and also the um, bago on flavor, you know? Apparently, this is the homemade calamansi juice. So I'm so excited. Oh, it's really good. Set up. It is really maasim. It's very maasim, but so fresh. It's a really nice thing. Wow, wow. Looks really good. Okay. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Enjoy. I can't believe how good it looks, the menu, but you know, the smell. Wow. I wish you could smell it, guys. This is so amazing. And you know, the thing is, the price is not so expensive. I'm surprised. Here in Paris. So let's try this menu from the Philippines. We ordered Filipino lumpia with vinegar, suka, and then we also ordered the crispy okoy, veggie okoy, with a sweet and sour sauce. And we also ordered the Bicol Express, of course, with canin, with rice. So I'm gonna start with the lumpia with suka. Mm. Wow! So nice! Mm. Crispy, nice sour taste from the suka of course. Wow, the filling, so nice. I don't know what's inside, what kind of meat is there? So nice that they have a spoon and fork. Of course, Filipino style. So they're like wooden, you know? Wooden spoon and fork. It makes it look so cozy. Also, the, the plates and the bowls are made of wood. It's uh, lunchtime here in Paris. So we're gonna try the Beagle Express with rice. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. So nice. Yeah, immediately you can taste the, um, the coconut, of course. Very rich coconut flavor. I guess it, they use a coconut cream. And you can taste a little bit of the bagoong, but not so much. And the sili, it's spicy, now it kicks in. So let's go for the next point. I will take you around Paris. I know you like to see Paris. Many of you have maybe been there already or maybe not. I don't even know how many times I've been here but uh, a lot. But there's a few areas that I really like. For example the Arc de Triomphe, Champs-Élysées. It's a really nice area and also the Eiffel Tower of course and the Louvre, the museum. But there's so many other nice areas in Paris and I will show you around a little bit so you can also enjoy the scenery of Paris. And then later, of course, we're gonna enjoy more Filipino food here at Bobby. We are here in the middle of Paris. Behind me, you can see the Arc de Triomphe. It's a really Ganda building. So Grand Ganda, Dipa. Right? And behind me you can see the Eiffel Tower. This is really a famous city worldwide, known for many nice things. Really the idea was like to showcase Filipino food, respect the tradition, yeah. but um, to be able to cater to everyone. So yes. Filipinos, but also European as well. We're very grateful for it. French people, they like it. Oh, nice. And that's that's was, nice. that was yeah. our goal actually. Oh, very so, good. 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 And even in the evening we have grill, like the okay. And on the weekend we have the brunch, like the silo. Nice. Yeah, very the nice. Silo, oh. and wow. the yeah. So we are here, Dito Sa Louvre. This is a world famous museum here in Paris. And it's really nice from here because you can see this really nice glass pyramid behind me. And on the other side, you can still see the Eiffel Tower.
I was filming, I thought that okoi is really thick, but it's actually two okoi. <laughs> So crispy and the sauce is really nice. I could choose from banana ketchup, the vinegar, vinegar based sauce or this uh, sweet and sour and she recommended the sweet and sour but it, now I know why she recommended it. It's really good. So now let us try the calamai dessert. Mm, it's very cool. Oh wow that's so nice. Of course it's um, sticky rice. Whoa that is really good. So they, um, they put some caramel and some almonds. Really good caramel taste, sticky rice, then the nuts. It's a very, very good combination. I have another video for you here. It's the one in Belgium that I made, also in a Filipino restaurant. So please go ahead and watch it. And thank you so much for watching. Marami salamat po. See you next time with more Filipino food. <laughs>